Hi. Now for this one then we're given that f of x equals 1 over the root of 4 plus x and x has to be a value between minus 4 and 4, mod x is less than 4. And uh, that's because this would be invalid by the way if the value of x was outside that range. Anyway we're asked to give the binomial expansion up to the term in x cubed for something like this. So how are we going to do it? Well first of all let's just remind ourselves of the binomial expansion formula. It's this, that if you've got anything of the form 1 plus a to the power n, it's identical to 1 plus n a over 1 factorial plus n times n minus 1 times a squared over 2 factorial and so on. So we need to put this in this format. And to do that, this is 1 over 4 plus x to the half. So if we bring this up to the top, it just becomes 4 plus x to the power minus a half. Now, you can see that this has a 1 at the start here, and we've got a 4. So we've got to get rid of that 4. Well, what we can do is think of this as all being to the power minus a half all that is the 4 plus x but if we pull out the 4 now we got 4 bracket 1 plus x over 4 and that is all to the power minus a half now we've got two things being multiplied together to the power so each one of them is to the power minus a half so we've got 4 to the power minus a half and 1 plus x over 4 to the power minus a half now 4 to the minus a half is 1 over 4 to the half, or 1 over the square root of 4, or 1 over 2, a half in other words. And then we've got 1 plus x over 4 to the power minus a half. Now you can see that this is exactly the right form that we want. n is the power minus a half, and a here is the x over 4. So we can just use this then to expand 1 plus x over 4 to the power minus a half. So if we do that, we've got the half at the front here. Let's put a big square bracket up. And then it's 1 plus n times a. So it'd be 1 plus the power n minus a half multiplied by a, a being x over 4. And that's all over factorial 1. Well, factorial 1 is just 1, so I won't bother with that. And then plus n times n minus 1. So the power is minus a half. Now we need to subtract 1 from that. That would be minus 1 and a half, but I'd certainly encourage you to write it as minus 3 over 2. And then it's a squared. So a is the x over 4. So x over 4 all squared. And it's over 2 factorial, so we'll put that over 2 factorial. And we've got the last term now, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So it's going to be the power minus a half, subtract 1 from that, that's minus 3 over 2, subtract another 1 from that, that's minus 5 over 2. Multiply by a cubed, a being the x over 4, so that's x over 4 all cubed, and then divided by 3 factorial, 3 times 2 in other words. And don't forget to put plus and so on, even though we're going up to the term in x cubed. So all we need to do now is just clean this up. So inside this square bracket then, if we clean up these terms, we've got 1 here, we've now got minus x over 8 and for this one here if you work that out you've got well, x squared over 16 here and you've got 2 by 2 by 2 on the bottom that's another 8 okay 8 times 16 is 64 so you've got 3 over 64 and that's going to be a plus 3 x squared over 64 when I look at the next term, expect it to be negative. Remember these sequences, I mean series I should say, go minus plus and then we're going to get a minus. We expect a minus. You can check that out. We do.
And if you work this term out, you should find you get 15x cubed over 3072. I'll leave you to check that out and so on, okay? Now we just multiply through with the half and if we do that we get a half and then minus x over 16 and then plus 3x squared over 256 and finally 5x cubed over 2048 and still don't forget to write and so on. Okay well there you go there's the binomial expansion for f of x up to the term in x cubed.